Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Vastfire brand, the rechargeable flashlight. It's got a very bright 5000 lumen. It's totally zoomable right here. We're going to show how to use that outside. And it's a, it uses these huge two batteries, which are included. And these are 26, 650, they're 5,000 milliamp hours each. It includes two little nylon adapters so that you can use smaller batteries like the 18650 if you wanted to. It has a charging port right there with a micro USB and an output port of USB type A that you could charge things with and a nice cover to keep this thing water resistant. And the zoom is really impressive and you can see that it has a optical quality glass lens on there and this nice aluminum end piece to protect that lens so that it doesn't sit on the glass. Uh, here's the end cap piece that has the gold plated spring on there and one of these nice adjustable lanyards that you could tighten up to your hand so that you don't lose this and an included USB A to micro USB cable. Now we're going to insert the batteries in here. It goes in just like that with a positive towards the front of the light. And then you put the end cap piece in and there are gaskets right there. There's gaskets throughout this. Just make sure that you turn it fully clockwise. It'll stop at some point and then it is ready. Uh, very simple to use. You just hold the switch down like that and then it comes down the, the full brightness and then a lower brightness, and then a blinking, and then off. Very simple. And again, this focus is on here, which allows the beam to totally change in size. And we're, it really is an amazing uh, lens because it allows you to get really small. And you hold this down to shut it off. Now we're gonna be testing the brightness of this with a lux meter, which is different than lumens but it gives me a relative comparison of the power of this. So I'm going to next show you how to charge this and how simple that is. It's very simple to charge the Vastfire flashlight. You take the included cable and remove the silicone seal right there. And you see there's a USB micro port there and you put the cable on there. Then the other end is a USB A and you just go to any USB A 1 amp or more charging port. Pick that one right there. And then it has a really nice display that lets you know that it's full charging. Now it's fully charged right now, but when it was uh, discharged, the LED number one blinked, then one and two blinked, one and three blinked, and now you see all four of them are blinked, letting me know that it's fully charged. You want to charge another device. It's really simple to do. You take the included cable, remove the silicone sleeve right there, and then you have a USB A port that is on the device. You have a USB A port which is on the device. You plug it in like that. The flashlight doesn't have to be on. And then you could use the micro USB port to charge any micro USB port device. So there's my charging indicator, a little lightning bolt right there. So you can charge any device that has USB micro on there, whether that's another flashlight, mobile phone, a lantern, a Bluetooth player, doesn't matter, it'll work. So here's a close up of the light. And you see it has a little side cob light there for camping and illuminating things on the side. And because this stands up, you can use that cob light effectively. So let's take a look at this. Here is that zoom I talked about. It is really, really smooth and allows full operation zooming in of that lens. And here's a close up of that lens now. And you can see the zoom function right there. You can see the large LED chip right there. Now speaking about that LED chip, it uses an XHP 70.2 second generation LED lamp and that's a very powerful lamp and a well-known lamp. It has a maximum lumens about 3800 and they have specs on the listing of that. Pretty impressive. So this is essentially a super bright LED searchlight 
that's going to allow you to get out of any situation where you need bright light for attention grabbing in an emergency. So how really bright, how bright is 5,000 lumens on this P70 flashlight? It'll light up a 250 square foot large area. Even in daylight, it'll help light up areas. It'll light up a football field or illuminate a mountain range at a small distance away. It'll light up an entire city block, neighborhood, fields, backyard, long beam distance of 760 meters, around one half miles throw. It'll light up across the street. Flashlight is good for security guard at a housing community or a mall. It's great to have for emergencies. You can keep it in your car. And if you're camping, you could use this while you're walking through the woods and you can illuminate that side using that side cob in your tent. But this illuminate your walking. If you're walking in a thick forest area, you're going to be able to see quite easily. That flashing mode grabs a lot of attention because it's extremely bright and in an emergency you'll be able to be uh, noticed and get some help. The color temperature of this is 6500 Kelvin and the CRI, which is how efficient the LED is, is an 80. And that's a good number for an LED. This is also IPX5 waterproof, one meter distance. And that means you don't have to worry about water penetrating the device. It'll uh, be pretty resistant to that. We're gonna show a slide to let you know how resistant it is to water. So here I am in my studio and I have the flashlight on the table turned on bright and I'm pointing it 12 feet away to a lux meter just to get a reference of the light output and this isn't an accurate test but it shows me it's about 2,500, 2,400, 2,250 lux so that's 2.2, 2.3 kilolux so that's that's pretty bright. It's probably the brightest flashlight I've ever tested in this lab. So here I'm at 12 feet away from my green screen and I have the lens pulled all the way in making the smallest pattern and it's producing about a pattern about 1.25 feet by 1.25 feet and then you can expand it and enlarges it very nicely and it covers my whole green screen, which is 50, uh, 12 feet in diameter. So you can go 12 feet to one a quarter feet in 12 feet distance away. So that shows you the amount of range that it has. So I've had it running for a good 25, 30 minutes. And when you have this much power condensed in this surface area, it's going to get warm because no LED is 100% efficient. So let's look at the surface temperature right here. See it's 114 degrees right on the tip, 123. As you move a little bit down, 117, 123. So that's not bad considering how much power in watts this is producing. You're gonna feel warmth, that's normal. Now to get the cob light to work, turn the unit on and you quickly do two pulses and you can see that the cob light is on hit it again and it goes into a blinking mode again red and a red flashing mode and then off so that's handy because you turn this on and now you have a little side light without the main light on you set it like this and then you have the ability to have a little side light in your in your tent or wherever and you know this is going to last a really long time because it's drawing a fraction of the energy of the other light. So here I am in my backyard and you can see there's no lights. Can't see anything. Let's turn on the light now. Wow look at that. I could expand it. Wow, is that bizarre? It almost gets you dizzy. Look how concentrated that light could be. Look at that. Wow. It's almost getting me dizzy. It's such a weird effect. I know the video is not going to show this, but 
it is extremely bright. Again, we can see, look at how it's lighting everything up. Again, I'm going to shut it off. And you can see there's absolutely no light out here. I'll turn it back on again. And just look at that. So if you had to go really concentrated, you do that by moving the barrel forward, and then you can shoot up in the sky. Now look at the look at the image that on the top of the trees. These are about 100 feet tall, and the camera's not picking it up, but there is a beam of light. There is a, a section of light coming out of this that's reacting with the atmosphere. That is so cool looking. So what do I think about the Vastfire brand, the rechargeable LED flashlight, super bright 5000 lumen with a really cool zoom on there. They included two 26, 650 huge chargeable batteries. Never seen them that big before. This is excellent. It has a little camping side cob light and extremely bright, well built. The ability to charge other devices. This is something you want to have in your camping, in your car, for emergency situations. You can't beat this for the brightness. It's a really good price point. I'm going to highly recommend it and give it a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert these new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I present helps you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.